was in Vietnam, uh, it was down in 68, uh, you know, 69 area. You were thrown in with people from all different walks of life, uh, from all around the country, people that have all kinds of belief, and it carried through. When you got to Vietnam, you come to realize that regardless of who they were on the outside, right here now, we're like, like brothers. It didn't seem to make a difference. And it didn't seem to make a difference because I depended on the guy next to me. I, I depended to, to survive this whole thing, and they depend on me. And so that caused us to build quite a bond. Black History Month, I think, was become necessary because of the fact that the history was so ignored. I, and I recognize sometimes when things happen that are not pleasant, that are dark, people want to forget that. Slavery, uh, the, the brutality of it, you know, just the, just the sheer uh, inhumanity, uh, man's inhumanity to, to, uh, to another man. As we try to evolve and move past that, there were so many positive things that happened, you know, in terms of um, accomplishments of black people that were totally ignored, uh, that wasn't taught in schools. You know, uh, they, know they don't know that there were black inventors that invented so many things that they're using that started the first generation of, so, of many things that people use to survive even today. So all that was a taught in school. I think that black history and all, all the things that come out now on this month, all that should be taught as part of American history. I consider myself something of a uh, community activist. I'm on the board of directors for the Essex and Morris County Mental Health Association. And we do a lot of interesting work in the community, not only just for veterans, but we also serve the community at large.